Recording, recording, recording. All the time recording. Record all the stuff. All the time. Good morning, everybody. I'm Adam Bilsing, and this is the Oregon Drum Project, where we do daily deep dives into every aspect of playing the drums. Today is day 184, and our topic is keeping a loose brush grip. If you'd like to practice along with me today, I'll be running some exercises out of a DVD called The Brush Secret. Specifically, I'm working on the half circular motion exercises, and I'm up to 62 beats per minute today. So let's get down to it. Keeping a loose brush grip. This, uh, this idea would translate perfectly to sticks as well, but I've been noticing myself having a little bit of trouble with the brushes, especially in my left hand since I'm working on this traditional grip. And the problem I'm having is really that I'm just gripping things too tightly, especially when I get up into the higher speeds, the uh, faster subdivisions, which traditionally is the worst way to accomplish these faster subdivisions. You want things to stay nice and loose so your mechanics are still correct even when you're trying to play really fast. But as a way of describing what I'm talking about, I've heard a couple different, uh, a couple different descriptions of how to hold the stick or the brush loosely. One of them, I think, is attributed to Jim Chapin, and he used to say, hold the brushes or the sticks like you're holding a little baby bird and you don't want it to get away. So you don't want to crush the bird, you know, it's a little baby bird, you want to hold it gently, but you want to hold it just tight enough that it doesn't fall out of your hands or fly away. Uh, another thing that I've heard somebody say is you want to hold the sticks or brushes so loosely that if somebody came up and went to pull it out of your hand, they probably could. Now, this is, uh, this is important for a lot of reasons, mostly because you don't want any tension in any of your body while you're playing. You want to really use the mechanics and the gravity of the sticks or the brushes to do all the work for you. And uh, also, like I said, as things move faster, gripping things, gripping the sticks or the brushes too tightly is not going to serve to accomplish these faster motions at all. So that's what I've been working on today. That's what's been kind of challenging me as I move through these brush exercises and I keep ticking up the tempo. I'm at 62 today, which is not crazy fast, but it's faster than I did them last week. So to show you an example of what I'm working on, I'm gonna go through the half circular motion patterns out of this DVD in sort of a combined fashion, going through, uh, as we remember, the quarter note pattern, the eighth note pattern, and the 16th note pattern. And I'm gonna run them up and down through the tables of time like I do. And at this point, I've added my feet to the mix. So I'm playing quarter notes, one and three on my right foot, two and four on my left foot, just to keep everything interesting. So let's check it out and see how it all sounds today.
Not terrible. Sort of fell off the trike at the top of the 16th note triplets. Okay, that's going to do it for day 184 of the Oregon Drum Project. That's 184 days working towards my ultimate goal of ecstatic improvisation through technical mastery of the drum set, which just means that I want to freak out real good behind the drums. Special thanks, as always, to my video producer, Mr. Silas himself over at Red 11 Media. Also, shouts out to day two Remo Drumheads and Ludwig Drums, because I got to play on the actual snare drum. And, of course, AKG Microphones for making everything sound so nice. If you'd like to follow along and make sure you don't miss any episodes of the Oregon Drum Project, go ahead and like and subscribe below. You can also catch me over on Twitter and Instagram at Dirty Bandana, on Reddit at Dirty Bandana Drums, and you can get all the details for everything about the Oregon Drum Project, including a cool merch store where you can buy some stuff to support me on my way at DirtyBandana.com. That's going to do it for today. We'll see you all next time. <laughs>